Well, and of course, it's, if it's really inventing, being invented and coming out now, I probably don't know about it yet. Um, but okay, things that I'm looking at that I think are very interesting. I'm, I'm interested in OpenStack. Now, OpenStack has, it's a service for uh, deploying and managing a data center. And it has a lot of options, far too many options, and it's kind of unwieldy and slow right now. Uh, so I'm working on ways to improve and simplify that. Um, but if I can now get data centers that um, don't require the first 100 bytes of the packet to get a packet from here to there, uh, and that can treat, is A allowed to talk to B as an authorization model instead of a routing model, which current uh, uh, NFV uh, looks at it as a routing model. Uh, I, I think there are some uh, improvements that we can put in there and uh, make it work not only within a data center, but between multiple data centers and between federated data centers. Now, CERN has done some work in that direction, but uh, I, I think that, that has some value. Now, in the 1980s, what we had in the internet industry, we had 14 different, at least in, in Cisco product, we had 14 different communication architectures that were supported and you know, busily making that happen. And that became very difficult for network administrators to manage. That became difficult for our customers to buy and to manage. Uh, and frankly, it was a pain for us to maintain. Uh, and so by the mid-1990s, we had been able to pretty much collapse that back to IPv4. Um, and now, you know, it's moving to IPv6. Um, now, I, I think we have the option, we have the opportunity to do that with data center architectures and uh, there's some real value in that. Now that's an open source project, that's not proprietary, um, which means that a lot of people get to contribute to it. They're not all of the same caliber. And uh, <clears throat> you know, th there can be some interesting things there, but that's, that's one in particular that I'm interested in. 